Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today's founder is Lemuel Haynes, the first person of color to be granted a license to preach in the United States of America. Now, Lemuel was probably born in 1753, though details of his early life were extremely murky. Uh, we do know he was born to a black father and a white mother, though the father's identity is unknown and the mother's identity is murky at best. Where we really start to find out real things about Lemuel uh, was when he was indentured as an indentured servant to a preacher in Connecticut. This preacher's name was David Rose, not to be confused with the character on the Canadian show Schitt's Creek, though that is a funny show. Uh, David Rose, the preacher, took in Lemuel as an indentured servant for a period of years, uh, during which time part of the negotiation was that he would actually educate the poor boy. Uh, and this was fantastic for Lemuel because he got an education, not just in religion, but in a wide variety of topics. And he seems to have been done with his indenture by the time the Revolutionary War breaks out, because at that point he was already a member of the Massachusetts militia, and after Lexington and Concord, he goes to join the Siege of Boston with the Patriots. Shortly thereafter, Fort Ticonderoga in New York is captured, and Lemuel goes to guard Fort Ticonderoga. Now, there's not a lot of guarding to be done. Uh, all of the action is sitting around outside Boston or invading Canada at that time, and Lemuel is out in New York. Sadly, he gets sick, and he's forced to resign his position in the Continental Army uh, and instead uh, regain his health. Now, after he does this, after the war is concluded, he goes and he studies to be a preacher. He had been taught by a preacher and religion was a big part of his life. And he gets licensed to be a Congregationalist preacher. And as I said, he was the first person of color in the history of the United States to be granted a license to preach. I will note, this was a point in time where you needed a license to legally preach religion, uh, but you didn't need a license to legally practice medicine. I always like to throw that in there. It is very humorous to me. I hope you find the same. But as for Lemuel, he became one of the most important preachers early on in the Republic because he spends a few years in Connecticut and then he marries and moves to Vermont. He spends 33 years as a preacher in Rutland, Vermont. While he is there, he, uh, he and his wife have 10 children and he preaches to a mostly white audience, which I do think is important, at least to describe the character of the frontiers people living in extremely rural Vermont. Uh, he was a, such an important leader in this aspect that he began to speak out against slavery before abolition was a thing, back when they were really still calling it manumission. And uh, it must have been taken a, an extraordinary act of courage to be able to say this for the first time in front of a white audience. And he began saying it a lot more and drawing a little bit of attention to himself. Now, after 33 years, he ends up moving over to upstate New York, where he continues to preach for another 11 years to the end of his life. But before he dies, uh, a new university called Middlebury College grants him a master's degree uh, in theology. And in addition to being the first licensed preacher of color in America, he is the first person of color who is given a master's degree in the United States of America. Lemuel Haynes is one of those really important unsung heroes, not just of the American founding, um, but of the early abolition movement. And uh, hopefully we drew a little bit of attention to him today. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, definitely hit like. If you're new here, subscribe. And I am putting a link down in the description uh, to a book called Lemuel Haynes, The Black Puritan. Uh, which is a biography on his life where I got a good amount of this information from. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, I think you'd find it fascinating. So check it out through the link below. And I'll be back with another founder for you tomorrow.